Welcome, I am Navitz. I'm representing my esports team, the Sploosh Troop, and you're about to see how to get a drafting advantage. Check this out. Okay, what's going on here? This is Dota Plus for Overwolf. Not to be confused with Dota Plus that comes with Dota Plus that you buy inside of Dota 2. This is a standalone application that's added by using the Overwolf App Store. And what it does is it gives you a drafting advantage by seeing the public match data of people who are playing in the same game as you. So you can see that I'm in a live draft right now. I am trying, actually Troll is the hero I most likely want to pick. Fantastic, because Troll is good against Beastmaster. Let's see, is this guy a good Beastmaster player? Actually, he is. He has played Beastmaster for 121 games this month at a 70% win rate. His win rate, wait, no, he's played 121 games this month. His Beastmaster win rate is 78%. So this guy is a good Beastmaster player. Who knows, maybe he followed my Beastmaster guide. Um, we'll have to find out. Anyways, what else can I look at? I can look at what items this guy likes to buy, and he actually likes to buy the items that I recommend buying. We're gonna pick Troll. He likes to, rec he likes to build the items that I recommend buying. So it, che it checks which items he likes to build. It checks which heroes he plays. It shows you their win rates. It shows you win rates of people on your teams. It indicates whether or not people may or may not be Smurfs based on how many games they've won. It shows you the data for the last 30 games. It will show you their most played hero. And when you start the game it will give you a ban screen indicator that tells you which heroes it recommends that you ban based on the heroes that these guys play so beastmaster would have been the number one recommended ban this game these are the suggested bans that you can see right here uh, there's other information that it goes through suggested picks for your team suggested picks for the enemy top meta picks in all lanes hero counters uh, team composition and all of that good jazz so that's a brief overview i'm going to show you how to get this app or how to get dota plus now and some settings so how do you get dota plus first you have to get overwolf so you will go to overwolf.com and you will download overwolf and then after you download overwolf you have access to the app store there's going to be other things aside from dota plus that you're interested in you might even find some cool applications for other games but dota is the one that we're interested in and dota plus is the application we want so we're going to download this one um after you download dota plus it will be available inside of your overwolf application so i have overwolf here this is dota plus if i click on it it gives me some information now i can modify my settings so some settings that are available i won't go through them all but you have interface settings behavior settings statistical settings hero settings uh you can exclude certain heroes from the suggestions and then you've just got about in credits so that's pretty much all of the settings for dota plus now you might have noticed that some people ooh, ooh, let's leave this game some people did not have their match data being shown why that is because to have your match data being shown and actually dota plus is the reason that a lot of people have stopped showing their match data is because you need uh to go to options advanced options social expose public public match data this allows sites like dota buff uh open dota strats um whatever you like to use it allows them to grab your public match data and display it on their websites so that is how you enable that is how you download dota plus this is how you enable your public match data if you don't want people seeing your games on dota plus if you don't want them getting the competitive advantage against you you can disable this that is your prerogative Thank you guys for tuning in. That is how you get a drafting advantage using a third-party application by taking in publicly exposed match data. Um, if you don't want your data to be exposed, then disable publicly exposed ma match data, but it will also mess up your, your um, Dota buff and other third-party applications. Um, on behalf of my team, the Sploosh Troop, and myself, I thank you guys for checking out the video, and I will be back again with another one. Thank you very much. Peace.